Hey guys, welcome back to Ditswitch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're checking out the Fender Pinwheel. I think the actual official title of this pedal is the Fender the Pinwheel or Fender the Pinwheel. Anyway, the Fender the Pinwheel is a classic take on a rotary speaker cabinet, an effect that I've not really well ever played with before. From a range of pedals that I'm quickly falling in love with, all the Fender pedals that I've tried have been pretty pretty top quality. Um, really, really impressed with what they're doing at the moment. So a rotary speaker is a the sound of an almost an organ sound where a speaker is in a cabinet and it spins around. That's basically what it sounds. But what the sound it gives you is almost a phasey, um, vibrato sort of, almost can be kind of chorusy as well. It's a really pulsating sound and it's so really quite emotive um, and it also quite a kind of classic thing that you associate with that sort of effect is having being able to speed it up and slow it down and the sound of it transitioning from the slow to the fast or the fast to the so slow sound is such such a cool sound and you can do that with the fender the pinwheel controls that we have on the pinwheel are self-explanatory but we also have a few really cool features on here that are a little different so we have an overdrive circuit in here, which is really nice to be able to grit up those kind of modulation swirling sound to make it sound even more organ-like. We have an overall level as well, so you can balance out your volume and the drive sound. Then we have tone as well, darken or brighten up the sound. Um, then we have two speeds for your fast and slow setting. And then we have a ramp, which it controls the, how long it takes to go from the fast or slow setting so you can really drag out that acceleration um, or kind of breaking sound. And then finally, uh, a sensitivity control which is something I've not seen on any rotary speaker pedal before. And if you flick, a, the, flick the switch on the top called Dynamics, um, this allows you to essentially, the speed of the rotary speaker goes off how hard you hit the guitar. So if you play softer, it's a really slow sound. If you hit it harder, it speeds up. And that's a really, really cool sound that probably wasn't in the kind of original cabinets, but it's a really welcome feature in this pedal. The only other control on the face of the pedal is a three-way toggle switch. This switches between three different versions of a rotary speaker. In the first position, we have a one, two, two rotary speaker. And then in the second position, we have a one, four, five. Those numbers don't mean much to me, but there's quite an obvious uh, sound difference. And then in the third position, we have Fender's very own vibratone sound in there as well, which is again, another take on the rotary speaker thing. <laughs> We also have bypass and then your uh, acceleration brake control to switch between the high, uh, fast and slow sounds. Along with the uh, expression pedal in, we also have stereo ins and outs, which is really cool because often this would, unlike a lot of other modulation pedals, this is probably most suited to be right at the end of your signal chain. Seeing as the cabinet would have been even after your amp, um, it, I would put, probably recommend putting this close to the end of your signal chain to get the most authentic tone. 
So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to put it at the end of the signal chain, but still going straight into the front end of the amp. Um, and we'll be going into my Victory V40, Boss Wazza Tune Pap Expander, uh, which is where my reverb's coming from as well, if I didn't say. Uh, and it's also emulating a 212 cabinet mic'd up with a ribbon mic and a 57 going straight into my audio interface and into Logic. And that's what you're hearing. Guitar wise, <laughs> let's go backwards. I'm going to use the Jennings Voyager Deluxe, which is sweet. Um, and yeah, that's the tones. Thank you. 
Thanks guys for checking out the video, if you like what you saw please subscribe and maybe check out some more and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys!